Hi guys, this is lesson number 37 from our Coral Draw Training course series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to apply this beautiful torn paper effect in Coral Draw. As you can see that in front of this cute baby picture, we have your torn paper effect. And uh, inside you can see that the baby image, it is clipped. And the same image here we have in the background. We apply effect on it. And there is a drop shadow with this background. And at the back side, we have here polished metal piece you can see that the thickness of this piece also from the side it gives 3d looks let me separate everything so you can see and understand how it's done if i will click on this torn paper effect you can see that you can see through the image at the back this is an image this is a png file actually this torn paper effect i created i took picture with camera and then I bring in Photoshop I remove the background from inside and uh, using selection tool from outside I remove also and then I save it as a PNG file but you don't need to worry if you are not much familiar with Photoshop you can use this image I have given the link in this video description you can download and practice so after this turn paper effect you can see here we have a small shape that I created from inside and we clip the image inside and this is the full image okay and we apply sketch pad effect on this image and here we have a background you can see that the gradient color it is applied if I will click it you can see that the gradient is there and uh, we can click on interactive fill tool so you will understand how the gradient is filled we have here in the first point here we have a gray color then we have a light gray so this is how we have uh, more points here this uh, beautiful transition we will create by using interactive fill tool if I will click on the pick tool this is the front gradient object if I will click and drag you can see that here I have another one so basically I just copied this front gradient background and I send it back then I mirror it okay if I will mirror it again here you can see that now direction it is in the same direction of the front but if I will click here mirror horizontally you will see that actually it is in the back so basically here we have five elements we have a torn paper effect we have a image clipped inside two shapes we use for this metal plate and here we have image that we use to apply sketch pad effect so let's undo control Z I'm going to move everything outside zoom tool zoom to page height and now we are going to start we are going to import image and torn paper effect go to file import and you can see that here we have that image I can select the image and this is the PNG file that I prepared so I can press control key and click on this torn paper now both of them are selected the image is selected and this torn paper file it is selected if I will click on import simply I can place in my page click and drag and the torn paper effect also click and drag so it is here just bring it in front of the image here whatever the area you want to show from this effect you can just make it big or small this way it's really simple okay so this how it is fine now the second step here is to create shape inside that we will use to clip this image let's bring it out here so it will be easy to draw shape zoom it you can use freehand tool you can use also pen tool I am going to use pen tool click on pen tool and just follow the inner edges to create shape I'm just going to make quick because I'm recording you can do nicely okay so you can see that simply we have a shape here and if I will click and drag you can see that it is a separate object Ctrl Z undo will keep in the same place 
let's move now both over the image select both of them and bring it here okay now the next step is we are going to select the image we need a copy of the image select it press plus key from the keyboard so if I will move you can see that in the same place we have duplicate so the front one is selected I am going to clip inside this shape the one I created while the image is selected I will go to the object power clip place inside frame and simply click inside the shape that we created you can see that there is an arrow small black arrow it is indicating that we are going to clip inside this shape so click it now the front image it goes inside but we cannot feel since the image is same if I will click and drag it you can see that one of the copy is clipped inside our shape undo if you will observe here you can see that there is a black outline the shape we created so we can select it and right click here to remove the outline now we are going to apply the sketch pad effect to our background image so for this thing we will select the image go to the effect menu and here we have art strokes you can see that point to art strokes and then come down and choose here sketch pad okay here we have three different settings you can see that we have a style pressure and uh, outline it's up to you how you want to adjust this in my case the setting is okay and just click okay now the sketch pad effect it is applied to our background image the next thing we are going to do is to create the metal plate on the back of this background so simply we are going to create one rectangular shape you can click on rectangle tool click and drag to draw just rectangular shape okay so here we have a simple rectangle we will use interactive fill tool to create gradient effect in this rectangular shape so here we have interactive fill tool and I'm going to apply gradient from left to right so I will click and drag this way so you can see that the gradient from black to white it is created it is very simple to create more points here you can just click and drag any color you want to create the point so let's drag some gray color from here I can choose this color and I can fill this point so you can see that this point is now gray the first point is filled with the gray color here we have light gray I can took light gray click and drag it here somewhere so you can see that we have a beautiful transition between light and dark gray once again I will choose the dark gray repeat the same process two three time okay so this is how we have we can expand it from the last point this way just make it sure that end point both side filled with the dark gray okay so that is fine we can click on pick tool and let's send it back now it is in front of the image click on object order to back of the page so here we have now we can remove the outline we have black outline around right click here to remove outline to apply this nice 3d effect from the side while it is selected I can press plus key so in the same place we have now two shapes let me resize this way vertically and horizontally we can resize and you cannot feel because same gradient is applied with the same direction now it is selected we will change the direction here you can see that mirror horizontally I will click it and we are going to send it back once again click on object order to back of the page so you can see from the side we can see the gradient it is in opposite direction now we are going to apply drop shadow to this background image to apply drop shadow we will convert to bitmap 
since we apply sketchpad effect so drop shadow it might not work directly let's try if i will click on this background image and go to the drop shadow you can see that here we have a preset if i will apply some preset here let's say medium glow it's giving message preset cannot apply to the selected object because sketchpad effect is there okay so what we need to do here we will select it simply click on bitmap convert to bitmap and uh, here you can see that rgb color 24 bit is selected if you are going to print choose cmyk if you want to use for desktop presentation or for web you can choose rgb i'm going to choose rgb and then click ok once i will click ok the sketch pad effect it is merged with the image and now easily we can apply drop shadow let's try click on drop shadow go to preset and choose medium preset medium glow medium glow is applied and here we have shadow feed ring i will just choose one leave this uh, transparency 100 and choose the color black i will apply black color and that's all now we can click on the pick tool to observe our drop shadow it is okay we apply drop shadow because it gives sense that this is a like a paper piece of paper and we place it on the top of this metal piece so you can see the shadow around this background image it gives 3d look so this is how we apply this beautiful torn paper effect on the image and we created this metal plate on the back also we apply sketch pad effect to the whole image so it gives sense that the sketch pad effect it is torn from the middle from the center and we can see through so that's all guys i hope you enjoyed this lesson and uh, this torn paper effect you can download from this video description and try to practice guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once i will upload new video thank you